did all this begin for you, do you think? All this? Take me back to the beginning. To your childhood, your family. Why? You have a lock of hair in your possession. Is that your mother's? And the photograph. Is that of her? She must have meant a great deal to you if you managed to keep them in your possession through all those years of care, of juvenile incarceration. Everyone's mother means a great deal to them. Not everyone's mother commits suicide. That must have left you feeling very angry. Abandoned. Alone. I hadn't expected to hear mother blaming from you of all people. But you were a lonely child. And you weren't. All children are lonely. We've spoken to Father Jensen. Do you remember Father Jensen? He remembers you as a child in care. He has an interesting story to tell. He says that you threatened him. Threatened his eyesight if he laid a finger on you. He told you that? He used to take us camping. And every night when it came to bedtime, there was always the same discovery. We were one sleeping bag short. The chosen boy was encouraged to share with Father Jensen. I never threatened him or anyone else. I simply didn't wash. Ever. I was repulsive. That's why I escaped his attentions. I was never invited to share a sleeping bag. I was sent away instead. To the cell? Yes. What age were you when you started the breaking and entering? The fetish theft? Twelve, maybe. Were your fantasies always sexual in nature? Aren't everyone's? When did the sexual impulse become fused with violence for you? You sound a little out of your depths, do I? Do I? I think you're struggling to understand things that are way outside your experience. Enlighten me. You're a very self-aware person, Stella. You spend a lot of time observing yourself. You have sex in the head. I doubt you've ever fully given yourself to anyone. I doubt you ever truly lose yourself. And you have. The thoughts, the feelings that I experience are way beyond anything that you could call fantasies. Signs and colors are more vivid, odors more intense. My skin becomes sensitive to even the slightest of pressure. The outside world means nothing, only the interior world is real. It is utterly compelling, compulsive. Nothing can pull you back from the edge. Not laws, or threats of punishment, morality, religion, fear of death. All of those things are as meaningless as the life that you're about to extinguish. When was your first attack? Did it all start with Rose? Are there other victims? that we don't know about victims before Fiona Gallagher? No. If 
Fiona Gallagher was the first. The first person you murdered? Yes. You admit to violent sexual fantasies from the age of 12. How did you resist acting on those fantasies until the age of 30? What sustained you? I always had a project to occupy myself. Project? A woman. To study. Did you break into their houses? Yes. Still their undergarments? Yes. Attack them? No. Why not? I was... I had children. You still have children? Small children. You're a barren spinster, so you wouldn't know. But small children take up all your time. Tell me about the first time. What was it like? It made me sick. The smell disgusted me. The first was the worst and hardest to get over. But a switch had been flicked. A line crossed. Something was done that couldn't be undone. Something that separates you from the common herd. I was ill for four days after. You're in a state of existential shock. But then you find yourself unchallenged by divine and secular power. Okay. So why not do it again? But better. Alice Munro. Yes. Tell me about Alice Munro. With Alice, I took it to another place. I spent time with her after. Washed her, dried her, put her back to bed, photographed her. An elevated aestheticism, if you like. Treating her like a doll. Like a mannequin. Tell me, do you speak to them? To the women that you torture and kill? No. Do they die slowly? Yes. Loosening and tightening your grip around their throat. Keeping them suspended between life and death. Yes. Finding them first? Yes. How long do you torture them? Do you inflict sexual acts upon them? I'm not a rapist. You violate them. You're a rapist. I perform no overt sexual acts on my victims. You are driven by sexual fantasies. And you act out with force. Tell me about these rituals that you perform. About the washing and drying, the painting of the nails, the putting back to bed. What is there to tell? Do you take and keep souvenirs? What do you think? I think a lock of hair. And you don't just photograph them, you also film them acting as your own pornographer. Tell me, how does it feel afterwards? Renewed. Guilt, shame, remorse, fear. You must feel fear. So tell me, did Sarah Kay represent perfection to you? Perfection? Aesthetically. 
Maybe. But she was pregnant. You wrote that you feel protective towards children. Why do children have protective status in your world when someone like Sarah Kay doesn't? Where does your sentimental view on childhood come from? How does it accord with the truth of your own? A tale of abandonment and abuse. Who is Bigfoot Chester? What? You created a video messaging account under that name and with one contact. Katrina Benedetto. I was wondering what that name denotes. She's just 16. A child, surely. And yet you performed a sex act on yourself for her. She recorded it. What could you possibly gain from corrupting her? And how is that being protective of children? What did Sarah Kay ever do to make her a potential victim? When, say, Olivia is not. She's my daughter. All of your victims are daughters. Where did your hatred of women come from? I don't hate a woman. I hate everyone and everything, including myself. Olivia. Once a man has achieved contempt for himself, he achieves contempt for all man-made laws and moralities and is truly free to do as he wills. You're under arrest. You're going to prison. In what sense are you free? I live at a level of intensity unknown to you and others of your type. You will never know the almost godlike power that I feel when that last bit of breath leaves a body. That feeling of complete possession. Yes, you felt empowered. Invincible even. But you're under arrest. Maybe you did possess your victims. But you couldn't keep them. And now they're gone. And you're alone. Fuck you. It's an addiction, like every other. It's an addiction that needs to be fed. It's an addiction that enslaves you. How is that different from the many and very compulsions that drive you? Your obsession with your father, his looks, his eyes, his voice, his skin, his smell. Are you sure that way back, beyond your ability to truly remember, are you sure that he didn't possess you? Little Stella in the night make you his? It reads that way to me. If he didn't, you sure as hell wanted him to. The Sarah Kay kill was tainted. So you moved against Annie Brawley. Moved away too soon. And you got yourself into a fight. I think that's called changing the subject. Maybe. You couldn't call it a fight. It was more of a mismatch. He came into the room. I was strangling his sister. Armed with a heavy piece of wood, the best he could muster was a blow across the back. What kind of bourgeois nonsense? The influence of parents, teachers, the church, police officers. Contrives to make you incapable of crushing another man's skull, even to save your sister. In that moment, 
his squeamishness, whatever the fuck, in that moment, he sealed his fate. And he should have sealed hers. A miserable worm bleating Annie, Annie. He deserved to die choking in a pool of his own blood. Piece of shit. Don't pretend that you care about him. You listed the victims to me in the phone. For Fiona Gallagher, Alice Munro, Sarah Kay, I don't let you. No mention of Joe. What's one more man to you, more or less? Let men perish. Who gives a fuck? Where's Rose? I will celebrate life. I love and I am loved. And nothing that you can do can take that away. Do you know that? Do you know that? <laughs> programs about people like you? Who? Where is she? Is she dead? Tell me. Where is Rose? We're done here. You got everything you need from me. But be aware, it's not over between us. In fact, it's just begun. <laughs> <laughs> 